so akaanza kukuchapa yeah. unafika au amekuchapa ushajua already ana date some other person mm. yeah. wanaenda wanakaa na yeye like two days three days anarudi home mm. yeah wanalala nje sasa yeah. eh, na before mwanza relationship ulikuwa unajua na vuta bangi na kukunywa pombe siko unajua saili hiyo yake ilikuwa ya kujificha eh yeah. yeah. Hello wonderful people welcome back to yet another episode of the journey sahi tuko on the 23rd episode of the journey sorry guys tulikuwa tumeenda break kidogo but now we are back like we never left and uh, today we have a story of a lady who has been who has gone through a lot at her tender age manze huyu dem amepitia a lot a lot a lot from how she was born and uh, uh, marriage and all that i love you first of all wacha kwanza before ni sahau i Thank you guys because of how you have been watching these episodes. Thank you for those who have subscribed. Naangalia naona kuna watu wengi sana wame subscribe na pia kuna wengine wana watch na waja subscribe. So make sure that you just subscribe it's free. Subscribe ni bure. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you share these episodes. And uh, if also you want to be featured in this uh, uh, show, uh, you can contact uh, us through the number that is on the screen and uh, Kunja, tupatie your story. Uh, I believe your story can be so inspirational to people and that is what we are doing. We just want to inspire people who are, at least uh, people can be encouraged by uh, these stories that we are doing and uh, you never know, your story can change a life. I just want to also tell you about uh, what we do. We are uh, Kibali Pictures. We shoot weddings, we shoot uh, uh, corporate events. Kama unataka harusi tunakufanyia video na photo poa sana kama unataka rushwa and any other event that you have hata kama unataka live coverage you can also reach us on the number that is on your screen so uh, let me let this beautiful lady uh, give us her story and kindly uh, leave a comment and uh, god will bless you sasa poa uh, introduce at least watu wakujue kwa majina naitwa Evershine Makena ama mama a girl blessing to yaud yeah eh yeah. mm. so ulizaliwa wapi na how was it uki grow mimi nimezaliwa huku embu nimelewa by a single mother yeah lakini siko namjua nilimjua nikiwa kitu class 3 4 ya yeah. so nimelewa na shosho kutoka utotoni hadi nikakuwa mkubwa yeah mm. Mm. so uki grow li grow aje na shosho bila kujua hiyo mom ilikuwa difficult lakini ni lazima mtu nizoe. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Sasa eh, tupatie hiyo story sasa venye ulikuwa na hiyo shosh alafu leta ukakuja kujua hiyo mamu. Eh, eh nilijua my mom nikiwa class 4. Mm. Hiyo time ndiye alikuwa amekuja huko ushago kutembea ya. Tukajua na hivyo nikajua hiyo ni mama yangu akanichukua tukaenda na yeye Nairobi. Tukiwa Nairobi hiyo time alikuwa na mtoto mwingine mdogo and the father of the child. Saa huyo sasa ndiye nilijuanga akiwa baba yangu. Siko anajua baba yangu. Sasa akanilea hivyo nikaenda shule, kamaliza class eight. After class eight sasa nikarudi na huku shago kwa shosho juu ya kwenda secondary school. Yes. Yeah. After that nikaingia secondary in 2019 ndio mama kapas juu ya cervical cancer mm. ya yeah. on march mm. ya yeah. akapas kacha sasa tukalewa na shosho okay on after kupas sasa on kaanza shosho akaanza ku struggle juu ya school fees juu mama ndiye alikuwa anamsaidia mm. so After that form 2 nikasoma nikiwa na struggles za school fees nini nini nikirudi home kukaa home after naenda shule first term second term nakaa home naenda third term kufungua shule tena inakuwa shida so on 20 2020 ndio nilikuwa drop out nikiwa form 3 ndio nisaidia tishu shosho kuangalia watoto wengine my siblings watatu ya yeah. 
ndio nikaenda hivyo nikatafuta job ya nyumba nikafanya fanya kidogo then nikapatana na baba ya mtoto wangu yeah mm. so before to fiki hapo kwa baba ya mtoto wako mbona ulikaa sana before upatana na hiyo mom because unasema ulipatana na kwa class 4 hakuwa anakuja ushago yeah. lakini pesa alikuwa anatuma za mm. kutusaidia yes. yeah, na sister yangu first born eh. Eh. na kwani alikuwa very far yeah, alikuwa anaishi Nairobi na kwani yule alikuwa anaishi Embu huku so alikuwa anaka bila kukuja for a whole eh, for um, like how many years kitu so najua unasikia sana nilimjua nikiwa nilikuwa class 3 4 hapo yeah. hiyo ndio nilimjua anga so maybe hizo time zingine alikuwa anakuja lakini siku around ama alikuwa anakuja anarudi eh yeah. eh bila kukuona eh yeah, bila kuniona so haukuwa na relationship with your mom yeah. until ukafika class 4 sasa yeah class 4 nasari ukiwa 2 years 3 yeah. years na kunyonya hiyo time ya period ya kunyonya uliambiwa alikuwa hapana <laughs> aliniacha nikiwa 6 months ndivyo nilikuwa naambiwa oh yeah akaenda kutafuta job yes mm. so akaenda akakuacha yeah and how did it affect you ku grow bila your mom i kuna affect ju shosho alikuwa hapo all the time yeah yeah oh so hata ukuwa hii how could you know you knew shosho yako kama your mom yeah and eh. my grandfather as yeah. my dad yeah oh mm. na sasa your dad pia akuwa in the picture that time yeah akuwa hata mm. sikuwa namjua hadi saa hii simjui yeah. yeah so now fast forward umeshafika class 4 ukachukuliwa na eh. na visa za step dad yeah. na ukakuwa na sasa step sister mm. na una, umesema ulikuwa na another sister yeah, who was older born, yeah. so like nyote mlikuwa ngapi before your mom left tulikuwa wawili mimi na sister yangu huyo mkubwa na huyo sister yako mkubwa alikuwa amekanisha na hiyo mom hapana hata yeye hakuwa amekanisha na yeye alikuwa yeah. tu anakaa na shosho oh mm. hata aliacha akiwa 6 months yeye yeah, aliacha akiwa mdogo sana yeah. hata yeye so when alienda akaenda akakupata akarudi pia wewe akakuacha akarudi akaniacha akaenda sasa eh yeah. but your shosho ali wa bring up well eh yeah, kabisa yeah. Mm. so now ukapatana na your mom yeah. eh, did you have like uh, questions unamuliza mbona aliwaacha yeah nilimuliza maswali mingi yote yeah. akijibu aniambia ni kazi alikuwa ameenda kutafuta mm. nikaona haina shida mm. ya yeah, tukaanza sasa kubonda na yeye na relationship ikakuwa poa kabisa oh yeah alafu sasa mkapata another that other ni sister yeah. eh mm. na yeye mkakuwa na good relationship yeah. yes sana alafu nao what happened ukarudi tena ushago after mamaliza sasa shuri. after mm. kumaliza shuri, nili class 8 mm. class 8 sasa nilisomea huku class 7 mm. na 8 ndio mm. nikasomea huku mm. then on december kapata mambo mbili tatu huko kwa shosho mm. kabidi sasa tuende na sister yangu Nairobi huyo yes. mkubwa yeah. after kwenda tukakaa kidogo tukakulia december huko 2018 mm. iko 2017 yeah yeah nikaenda tukakaa huko mm. then juu akwa na ile pesa ya kunipeleka shure ka, shosho akamwambia instead ya nikae huko mm. nikuje na huku shago ajue venye atafanya niingie shule. Yeah. Ingia shule sasa. Yeah, form 1. Ukaanza kusomeshwa na still your mom. Yeah. Eh anatumwa pesa sasa ukiwa ukiwa huku. Mm. So ukasema kuna time sasa ilifika mahali ya kapas. Yeah, eh, 2019 ukiwa eh, form 2. Oh. Yeah. So eh na the step dad was did he Ali, continue to take care yenu ama Sasa yeye alikuwa ah. na take care ya hao wengine watatu. Mm. Sisi hakuwa anashughulika na sisi. Oh, wengi, au wengine sasa wa yeah, yeah. au wake sasa. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So uka struggle uka struggle for mtu yeah. nikasoma hivyo hivyo. Mm. Sasa so, niliona kimeumana, mimi mm. sasa nika nika drop out. Kwa form 3. Yeah. And that was in 20 umesema 2019. 2020. 2020. Yeah. That is like uh, four years ago. <laughs> eh ukaanza job ya nyumba. And that is when now you met yeah. your, the man of your life. Mm. Eh. So after tumepatana, tuka date. So hiyo 2020 Bado kwa kazi ya nyumba. Yeah. Eh. Hiyo 2020 sasa ndio tuka move in na yeye. Mm. 
ilikuwa mwezi wa wa nane tukamove na yeye hmm. kaendelea hivyo ni time najaribu kuona ulikuwa ulikuwa form 3 yeah. ukast drop out of school so uko ulikuwa umefika 18 hapana so mki move na yeye bado ulikuwa below 18 yeah. years ai and how did it happen that you get married when you are below uh, 18 years so the guy akakukatia na kwambia anataka mambo zako yeah. na very young yes and uh, I just see one otherwise, no one when you show a struggle, so I need to call a pic guy or picture. I could do the apple was show show to answer his own machine that then and he can say my partner. Send your lay. Yeah, yeah. Nasasa reaction here, you show you look at the I come by a Takama require a civica. A kini a little air too. Well, like a sicker than you only only a So you end up a break the news to come here. Show show you may decide to go lower. Even your siblings were okay. Yeah, your well, elder well. sister, your aunts. Yeah. Eh, yeah. well, you support your marriage. At, well, you know, well, how many years, by the way? You seventeen or you sixteen? Seventeen. Well, you were seventeen years. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Now the guy, you were how many years? He to you were twenty twenty one. Oh, what I you were very old. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Higher. So I'm going to date. How was? Dating at your age, at 17, and the guy at 20 years. He was sour, he was a buyer. Yeah. Yeah. Then what happened? So after I move in, mm. Kenda was a Ziwake. Mm. So I was going to issue was a Ziwake, like in a corner, Yumbake. Mm. Kenda sat to count to Naishu Kona. So 2021, the only Kapatam Toto. Sasa saizo liko shafika 18 years. Sasa before ni pate mtoto, hii mm. time ya 7 months, 8 months. Mm. Ndiyo, siju sasa ni venya likuwa nakataa responsibility zama ni nini. Haka mm. anzanga kunichapa. Eh. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Anaenda, alikuwa mtu wa kukunyo wa pombe, la mm. banki. Anaenda, anakunyo, anarudi home, anaanza kunichapa. Ajaribu kuangaresho na wazazi husky. Mm. Mm. Ya. Yeah. After that, I was able to get a lot of people 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 to get na lot of people to get a 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 lot of kuna mtu anaenda kuona. Mm. Yeah. Kamwambia mimi haina shida. Mm. Barake mimi nimejua. Mm. Sasa nikienda sasa ku, ku confirm kwa yeye, mm. sasa alipojua sasa nimejua akaanza vituko zake kuwa ananifukuza home ananichapa hivyo hivyo. So wazazi wake pia walikuwa wanajua ulikuwa underage. Eh yeah, walikuwa wanajua. Eh. Yeah. Na wako kwambia like uh, urudi shule usome uache mambo ya ndoa. Nilikuwa nirudi shule lakini sasa unaona hizo struggles zenye shoshoa kwa nazo singeweza kurudi shule. E, yeah. Na huyu kijana alikuwa amemaliza form 4. Yeah, alikuwa amemaliza. Hakuendelea tena na masomo. Mm. So akaanza kukuchapa. Yeah. Unafika au amekuchapa, ushajua already ana date some other person. Mm. Wanaenda wanakaa na yeye like 2 days, 3 days anarudi home. Mm. Yeah. Wana lala inje sasa. Yeah. Eh, na before mwanza relationship, ulikuwa unajua na vuta bangi na kukunywa pombe? Siku unajua sasa hiyo yake likuwa ya kujificha. Eh. Yeah. Sikuwa ni milidate for how long before move in for moja? Tukudate sana. Like how long? Nikuwa tuseme kutoka mwezi wa ngapi? Tuseme kutoka mwezi wa tatu, yeah. hindi mwezi wa nane. Eh. Yeah. Ukakuwa girlfriend yake for hizo, hizo ni? Uh, five months? Yeah. Uh, ukakuwa girlfriend yake for five months. Alafu sasa kakwambia, anataka kukuwa. Ilikuwa eh? kamu iste. <laughs> so, ilifika aje ikakuwa kamu iste. Ali kupropozia, ali kwambia we kamu, ama eh, how was it? Liniambia, tuende, kwao. Hmm. Kamuambia, mimi ju sasa hapo kwenye nimefika, hmm. haina shida. Mimi kandea hmm. manguwa home, tukaenda na ye. Oh, alikuambia uchukue nguo muende muishi na ye. Yeah. Uh, na the first first days ilikuwa aje. 
ilikuwa sawa kabisa kwa na behave hivyo alikuwa mtu mzuri sana anapeleka out yeah. and treat vizuri mm. eh yeah. nini unaona kama ilifanya aka change sasa i think ni kulana alikuwa na learn to ya responsibility zake mm. alipogundua sasa ni kona ball mm. ndio sasa alianzanga hizo vituko mm. so i think that is the main problem oh na pia kuchochewa na bishe zake mm. yeah sio alikuwa akitaka muishi pamoja lakini sio ipata ball yeah mm. sasa and uh, alikuwa anasema ajajipanga na sasa venye alikwambia ukuje mbona alikwambia ukuje na hako amejipanga sijui ah na kuna kitu yote alikuwa anatumia like uh, family planning ama yeye alikuwa tu alikuwa anatumia na sasa alikuwa amejipanga na alikuwa na mess ushapata ball ukamwambia umepata ball so reaction yake ilikuwa gani reaction yake for the time for the first time haikuwa mbaya alikuwa excited yeah, yeah. lakini venye sasa ilianza, ilianza kukua kubwa sasa yeah. sijui ama ni kweli alikuwa anashtuka eh yeah ama ni nini sasa mm. akaanza ku change mm. yeah. ulinona sana ama ulikonda sana hapana nilikuwa na maintain na au ku change hata anything hata attitude hapana eh yeah, ulikuwa just the same person yeah so akaanza ku ku change pia yeye yeah, yeah. Mm. anakuja kwa nyumba mara ananiambia na leta wanaume kwa nyumba sana shindo wanaingilia wapi na kwa kumefensiwa na kuna gates yeah yeah mm. uf tena hivyo akaanza kuniita hadi lesbian sasa mm. na shindo yeah. <laughs> anyway what triggered him akuita lesbian kuna mabeshti ulikuwa nao walikuwa na kwenda kusaidia hapana hata hakuna mabeshti tu mm. ni watu tu wa familia yeah yeah mm. the first instance yake ku change ali do Like leo amekuwa tu msweet amekuwa msweet so usiku kuja akua amekunywa pombe sema kuwekelewa so alikuja the first time alikuja alikuja kwa mlevi eh eh kaanza kunitandika babake akatoka nje kujaribu kumuongelesha aski mm akatorokanga akaendanga before alikuwa anakunywa hapana alikuwa sawa kabisa hakuwa anakuja kwa mlevi hata harufu ya pombe hapana mm So one day alikuja tu kuwa mlevi. Mm. Na kaanza vita. Na what cost him kukuchapa? Sasa so, sijui. Alikuja tu meka vita. Ai, na sizo kwa na ball. Yeah, seven months. Seven months pregnant. Yeah. Hakuwa anaogopa anaweza unaweza pata miscarriage. Nakwambia hakuwa anaogopa kitu. Eh. Yeah. yeah. So from there akaongeleshwa aski mala anaenda mm. anaana na huko nje mm. kwa hiyo dem hata walikuwa wanaonekana na yeye na watu wao juu kuna watu wanafanya wana kazi na huko mm. so walikuwa wanapatana na yeye wakienda na yeye wanarudi na arudi home mm. sasa ndio walikuwa walikuja akaniambia sasa na mimi sikuwa nataka kurudi home nikiwa mm. na ball yeah yeah sasa ingekuwa shida pia yeah, nyumbani ingekuwa shida nyingine na sasa hiyo first time alikuchapa hivyo alikuumiza Unumiza mapo pengine. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Kaumia sasa ulienda hospitali ama Ya yeah, nilienda hosi, yeah. kaangaliwa nikamwambia mtoto wako sawa kabisa. Eh. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Sasa eh, ulikuwa umepata dento wapi uso? Si uso mwili. Alikuwa anakuchapa na makofi, mangumi. Eh. Yeah. So amekuchapa ametoroka. So the next time kupatana na after that incident. Sasa after that akaenda akarudi home siku nyingine akakuja akaongelea tosho na wazazi wake mm. akawasikiza na akarudi home. Mm. Sasa mkaanza kuishi na yeye tena. Yeah. Ali apologize. Yeah, ali apologize. Akasema But... shida ilikuwa. Na <laughs> kuniambia shida ilikuwa wapi? Alikwambia tu pole. Yeah. Nikamsamehe. Na mkarudi vizuri tena. Eh. Yeah. Sasa after kupata mtoto yeah. nikakaa for 3 months atuongei ataki kuniongeresha sasa sikuwa nakaa kwake nilikuwa nakaa kwa nyumba ya mama yake juu ilikuwa CS Oh okay yeah. After that sasa after sasa nimerudi kwake ilikuwa mtoto alikuwa 4 months hapo 
karudi kwake sasa akaanza vituko zake tena. Jua naona mtoto amekaribia kufika hii time ya kukura na ana kitu ana anything. Hakuwa job. Yeah, hakuwa na job. Alikuwa anaenda tu anatafuta job za mjengo, anajenga, anarudi home. Eh. So hii period amerudi home. Si ndio? Na ulikuwa alirudi bado kwa seven months pregnant. Yeah. For that two months, relationship yenye ilikuwa aje? Haikuwa mbaya sana. Mbaya sana. So ilikuwa mbaya, but si, si sana. sana. Eh. Eh. So milikuwa mnaongea? Ya. Yeah. Akifika presa na nichapa, ananiambia nikijaribu kuambia wazazi wake, yeah. ataniua. Sa ilikuwa inabidi ni nyamaze. So vinyali alirudi that was the first time alikuchapa, ndia kongeleswa, haka he, hepa kwanza, haka eh. rudi. Na saa mkarudi. Eh, kukakana, eh, kitu, two weeks, three weeks. Yeah. Akaanza kunichapa tena. Yeah. Haka niambia nga, ukiambia wazazi wangu tena, mi nitakuwa na kuna nijera nitaperekwa, alafu ni achiliwe. Nikaona hapo, eli kujinyamazia. Ya, yeah. yeah. kanyamaza tu hivo. So, alikuwa alianza kukuchapa tu tena. Ya. Yeah. For no reason. For no reason. Yeah. So, this guy alikuwa mefika mahali anona yuko comfortable kwenda prison kwa za najua kienda eh. prison ataenda atoke alafu atoke eh. yeah. wow na bado akikuchapa bado nakuumiza <laughs> si ndio sasa hii vita ilikuwa mbaya kama ile ya kwanza ama sasa ilikuwa, ilikuwa ame tone down ilikuwa zaidi si siku ya kwanza kuenda home nikuwa na black eyes <laughs> eh yeah so hizo ni two hizo ni two weeks tena akakuchapa before upate mtu wewe. Mm. Eh. Yeah. Ya yeah, tukakaa na eh sasa akaendelea aka kunichapa lakini kuna press. Ita imeyaliona sasa nimefikisha kitu nine months, nibakisha mm. kitu wiki mbili ama tatu niende nipate mtoto mm. akapunguza hizo fight yeah. zake. Yeah. So for that two, two months zilikuwa how often? Seme mwezi wa nane mm. alikuwa ananitandika lakini si sana. For no reason. For no reason. Anaenda anakuja amekunywa, anaanza vita. So tuseme ilikuwa almost daily. Yeah. Lazima uchapwe karibu kila siku. Yeah, for week. no reason. Yeah. yeah. Kai. So Nani hadi uliweza kuvumilia hiyo vita yote? Nilibidi nivumilie jua. Kuna press nyingine nilikuwa niende. Mm. Yeah. So ilikuwa Washosho na... ningerudi ingekuwa shida nyingine. But si afadhali hiyo shida unaenda huko kwa shosho tu shosho atakuchapa. Kushida hiyo na chapa na this guy. Shosho hawezi ni chapa lakini uma. Sasa uma atakuchapa aje sasa you pregnant. Oh ndio ujui. <laughs> so ukikompea kwa shosho na kwa this guy. Eh ni kukaa kwa this guy. Hadi sasa. Wewe unakwambia atakuua? Eh acha niue. <laughs> Kushinda urudi kwenye home. Sio umesema ni kama unasema hiyo 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 guka alikuwa alikuwa violent. Kai. Alikuwa anachapa anakuchapa. Hata si kunichapa hadi hmm. bibi yake. <laughs> Ati hadi. Si siku ya kwanza tumelala nje na shosho. Amewachapa. Eh, yeah, atufukuza. Kwa nini? Mimi najua. So in short ulikuwa umezoea kuona eh kuona shosho kichapwa. Eh. Mama kichapwa hivyo sasa mimi hata nilikuwa nimezoea. So, siku anaona ikiwa kitu kubwa. Ai mbona alikuwa anachapana? <laughs> alikuwa na kunywa pia. Nani? Yo yo guka. Be, hizo time alikuwa na kunywa. Oh hiyo time alikuwa anapigana. Yeah. But later alikuja kuacha ama. Ah. Ama bado mpaka saa hii anachapana. Saa hii ni kelele tu lakini tumezizoea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sio mzee sana ama. Mimi mm, mwako na kitu 60 something 50 hapo hivi. Ah. 50 yeah. <laughs> Oh, sio mzee sana. Si mzee. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Eh. So uko na uko kurudi uko ni vibaya. Wacha mm. ukae kwa Acha kwanza nikae huko nipate mtoto. At least nikipata mtoto itakuwa sawa juu. Mm. Ataweza kuongea vibaya ama kunini kunichapa nikiwa mm. na mtoto. Jua naona ni vibaya. Yeah. Kasema acha kwanza nipate mtoto. So pia babu yako alikuwa amekuchapa sana. Eh. Mm. <laughs> Na mbona alikuwa na kuchapa? Hmm? Unaweza sema ulikuwa mtukutu? Hapana, guy. Yeah. <laughs> yaani ni ile mtu yani hataki kuwaona kwake. Anaona mkuu wa mzigo. Oh. Yeah. Mm. 
kwanza yuta imeye mama alipas unajua sababu baba yao watoto alikuwa amekuja kuwachukua waende wakaange na huko yeah. na huko okeambu yeah. shosho akakataa alipokataa oh. sasa mm. ndipo vita ikatokea uka ataki kutuona huko mara anakuja anatufukuza tunaenda tunaara kwa brother kwa brother ya shosho mm. tena anakuja anamkujia tena hiyo ah, ndio maisha so watoto walikuwa watatu eh na sasa hiyo anatoshaje mwenye amenifuata kwa form 4 sasa hii mm. uh, kijana ni mmoja ako form 1 mm. last born ako grade 8 Oh yeah. so wako enda. Ya yeah, hao kuenda. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Sasa ni mimi wanawasaidia na school fees. Yeah. Kila kitu. Eh. Yeah. Haya sasa turudi kwa history ya this guy now. Sasa ukapata mtoto. Ya. Yeah. Eh yeah, akakutapa, akakutapa mpaka ukafika point nao umefika mahali pa kujifungua. Ya. Yeye yeah. yeah, yeah, help in uh, in. Alikujanga siku moja mm. pekee kuniona hosi hata hakuka. Mm kuniona tu akatoka akaenda. Hata nikaa kulazimishwa nilazimishwa na mamake akuje mm. niletee food. Mm. Yeah. Kuka hata kuka sana akatoka akaenda. Sijai mwana. So alikuja mkaongea. Atukuongea kitu. Usikia alikuja hata kuka sana alikuja kwa ametoka. Mm. Mm. Na uku, uli, uliwahi jaribu kumuuliza shida ilitokea wapi? Sisi kwa kwanza ama ya pili. Yeah. kama alikuwa. Uh shida zinatokea hapa naanza kuchapa nikasema acha nijinyamazie mm. like now unaona yeye alikuita mpaka mkaenda kuishi ye ilikuwa his idea muishi na yeye unaona yeye ndiye alikuwa approach mm. akakwambia nakutaka alafu akakwambia come tuishi na wewe but sasa venye umeenda kuishi na yeye after some few months ame change unaona so i was thinking probably kuna venye ulifikiria acha tukae chini eh, tujue hii shida inatokea wapi where you went wrong to- ama Tumekaa hadi na watu wake wa familia mama yake baba yake aunti zake hakuna yeah. mtu anasikiza Hakuna mtu ambaye muulize hiyo swali nini mbaya Si nakwambia tushaimuuliza tukua wote Hakuna yeah. mtu ashaijibu hiyo swali Hakuna mtu hata mmoja So venye alipata huyu girlfriend mwingine ndiye alianza kukusikia eh, Kutoka hapo sasa So in short ni kama ali fall out of love aka fall in love with this other yeah. lady. Eh. Sasa ushatoka hosi aja kushughulikia hata kuna alisaidia kulipa bill. Mpana. So eh, mama yake ndiye alilipa the bill. The bill ilisautiwa na the government. O ilikuwa government hospital. Yeah. Eh, bill yote hakuna hata kitu ili mlisort. Mm-hmm. Eh. Hakuna. So ukatoka ukaenda home. Ukaanza saa kulea. Yeah alikuja hata kuona mtoto e, mtoto alikuwa anamuona anamshika mara wanaenda na yeye oh. lakini mimi kuniongeresha au kwa ananiongeresha alikuchukia tu kabisa eh ai na nini inaweza kweli leta all this hatred sasa mimi nashindwa mm mimi naonanga maybe huyo msichana alimpenda kuliko venye anafaa kunipenda so kasema mm. ni sawa Nafa kupata wataalamu wenye wanaweza tukambia. <laughs> What causes this hatred? Yaani mtu alikuwa anapenda mtu once na sasa anamchukia kabisa. Eh? Mpaka ataki kukuona. Yeah. So ndio hiyo sasa. Mtoto akaanza ku grow. Mm. Bado bado hii relationship yenu bado yeye yeah, anakuja anashika mtoto ana nini? Mm. So what happened next? Kenye ilitokea mm. ni Mungu. Mm. So hiyo mtoto akiwa 5 months. Mm. Ya asubuhi tulikuwa alikuwa ame usiku alikuwa amenichapa akiniambia niende home kwetu. Mm. Yeah. I think sasa hiyo kesi yake maybe ni venye aliona mama yangu ayuko karibu na baba yangu ayuko karibu. So mm. alikuwa anaona hata nikienda kwa shosho hakuna mtu mwenye anaweza muuliza swali. So hiyo siku usiku alikuwa amenitandika kaniambia the next morning niende home. Mm. Mimi nikaona kwanza acha tuongee na shosho. Kwa siku na simu kwanza nikanyamazia hiyo story nikadhani sasa akienda atatulia arudi home. Mm. Ah, jioni akarudi. Kaanza kuniuliza mbona sikuenda nikamwambia usijali nitaenda asubuhi. Asubuhi. The next thing alienda hapo sitting room aka 
chukua kisu akairusha ikapita hapa kwa uso ikanikata hapo ndipo niliona ako serious nikawaambia basi kama ni hivyo wacha asubuhi ifike mchukue mtoto niende ndivyo tukafanya na tukaenda alikuwa amefika mahali anataka hata kukuua na yeah. mm so ukachukua mtoto tukaenda tukaenda eh na hiyo ilikuwa when mtoto akiwa 5 months mm, ilikuwa 20 2021 eh ilikuwa 2021 2022 yeah yeah eh kitu january ama ni february hapo eh yeah. so ilikuumiza kisu na yeah, iliniumiza nilibreed sana but eh yeah. shosho akaniuliza nini ifanye akamwambia ni mtoto alinigwala akasema sawa mbona huko mwandu kweli huyo jamaa alikuwa anataka sikuwa anataka sikuwa anataka ajipatie stress eh yeah. Na sana jaribu kuona venye ulitoka the mama ali alijua mwanda. Eh alijaribu kuniambia nikae nikamwambia mimi siwezi kaju the next thing mm. ni mtu huyu mwenye amekufa mtatoa kwa nyumba na staki hivyo. Yeah. So huyo mwenye anataka kuleta home wacha amrete. Mm. mm. Maana akaniambia haina shida. Mm. Kaniachilia tu nikaenda. Ukaenda home sasa. Yeah. Na mtu huyu sasa yuko 5 months. Mm. Na alikuongelesha tena. Hapana. Eh yeah. until today amjaiongea hapana eh yeah. alikujanga akajaribu kuongea na shosho shosho akaniuliza mbona uwezi rudi kwake mimi nikamwambia siwezi rudi acha nijirelee mtoto alikuwa amekuja kusema urudi eh yeah. mimi nikamwambia siwezi rudi nikakataa kabisa na si ende alikwambia uende eh yeah. na sasa mbona atake kusema urudi tena sijui sasa eh yeah. akujanga akajaribu kuongea na shosho na uma mm. wakakataa mm. hata mimi nikakataa mm alirudi kuleta that other lady sasa sijui eh yeah. oh i thought uh, mlikuwa mnaonana ama hapana yeah. atujoi onana hadi wa leo sasa hizo mlikuwa mnaishi county gani huko tu oh bado ni embo county yeah. eh karibu na kwenyu ama mbali karibu na kwetu lakini si karibu sana yeah. kwa tunapanda gari tunapanda gari mm. na pikipiki ndio nifike home yeah, yeah. So ukaanza saa kulea mtu huyu as a single mother. Yeah. Eh, challenges zilikuwa gani sasa? Challenges zilikuwa mingi. Mm. Kwenda kutafutia mtoto pampas, mm. chakura. Sasa yeah. unajua saa alikuwa amebakisha one month ndio aanze kukura. Eh. Yeah. Ikuwa bidi niende nitafutie hata kama ni kazi ya kuchuna majani ndio mm. niweze kulea mtoto wangu. Hiyo kazi nimeifanya sana. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Unachuna majani huko pande gani sasa ya embo? Huko tu kenjo koma hiyo place yenye tunaishi. Eh. Yeah. Ukachuna majani. Yeah. Kalea mtoto wangu, kafika hadi mm. hapo kwenye yako saa hii. Na sasa hakuna mtu mwingine alikusaidia like uh, maybe the uh, father's family ya wako kusaidia in bringing up the child. Hapana. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Na sasa wenye ulirudi sasa umerudi home. Eh. Yeah. Sasa what was the reaction of your shosho na hiyo guka? Sasa so, umekuja sasa na mtoto. Guka aliona sasa budget yake imekuwa mob. Eh. Yeah. Sasa hapo ndipo alianzanga kutandika shosho tena akimfukuza. Eh. Yeah. Tunaenda tunakaa kwa brother yake like for two weeks, three weeks. Mm. Anakuja anamkujia tena. Mm. Yeah. Until 2022 sasa ndiye akapunguza asila zake 2022 kitu mwezi wa saba hapo. Eh. Yeah. Kapunguza asila akaona hiyo ni kazi ya bure anafanya. Eh. Lakini I think ni juu ya askari ndio ilikuwa imepanda sana ndio alikuwa anafanya hiyo kazi. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah. Eh. Alikuwa amepata mpaka sukari na panda. Alikuwa mgonjo sukari. Eh. Yeah. Wa ilikuwa stressing for them pia. Yeah. Juu sasa hawana pesa wewe umerudi na mtoto. Eh. Lakini ya... na bado kuna wale siblings wengine wako wenye walikamu na hiyo mom. Mm. The three kids. Yeah. Eh. Sasa nimesikia ukisema kuna mali pia you provide for how siblings. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you uh, make kuanza ku provide uh, kwao na bado hauna pesa unaenda kuchuna majani yeah. ili uweze kupata pesa ya pampers Sasa ilikuwa inabidi hadi nilikuwa nimetoka huku nikaendanga kwa aunti yangu Nairobi mwingine anaishi Nairobi mm. na mtoto mm. nimkalishiange mtoto watoto wake anaenda mm. anafanya job mm. anatumia shosho pesa ya school fees ya watoto wengine Hmm. Sana yeye madharao 
ananiachia watoto for two weeks three weeks hawana mm. cha kukula hawana mm. nini so ilikuwa inabidi naenda na tafuta kazi mm. ya kufu, na acha huyo mtoto wake mkubwa na mtoto wangu na wako kengine mm. ndio niende nitafute hata kama ni kazi ya kufua nguo mm. ndio tupate sapa na lunch mm. na the next day eh yeah. yeah, hiyo ndio kazi ilikuwa nafanya so ilikuwa nafua nguo nini all that mm. eh yeah. so currently una unadu for now mm. after that sasa kutoka Nairobi nikarudingi nika sasa huku home yeah tukakaa kaa kidogo sahi kwenye naishi kwa aunti yangu mm. ni sister ya shosho, mtoto wa sister ya shosho yangu ndiye alinichukua kanipeleka huko kwake mm. niwe namsaidia na kazi za nyumbani mm. ananiripa mm. yeah oh njani imekuwa ngumu sana eh yeah. Na sasa unaweza kurudi shule ama what to do what to do Mimi for now yeah. Yes mbeleni nilikuwa nataka kurudi shule lakini for now siezi unaona mtoto anaingia next year anaingia shule Yeah next year so nilikuwa natafuta tu do hivyo hivyo mm. Hata kama nikupeleka mtoto shule then na mimi niingie ka course Yeah Yeah hii inaweza nisaidia Oh Yeah Na sasa hii miaka ni ngapi Sai Eh Sai miaka ni kona ya Ije yo age 21 so you 21 yeah wa wow. <laughs> no mepitia <laughs> you only 21 no mepitia eh life ingine eh yeah ngumu sana sana when you whatever you may una- experience ndio watu wa miaka 35 na uko 40 imagine <laughs> eh wame ingine to marriages zenye aziku work eh but 21 na ilikuwa form 3 maybe una nasoma 2 years by the time of f- malize form 4 uko kwa wangu akuwa anasomesha na nani oh okay <laughs> still it's a challenge mm umela nini mambo mingi sana mm. yeah kama sasa like una nasoma like maybe three or four things that you've learned ili watu wale watakuwa wana watch pia they are also probably your age wengine ni wazazi wana kuangalia like their child unaona na wengine wanakuangalia like their sister what can you say umelan for now mm. nezawaambia wasikimbilie my relationships za mm. halaka hivyo hata kama vitu ni ngumu yeah. unajaribu hata kama nika kit unajaribu tu kufanya mm. at least hata kama ukifika hiyo miaka ya kusema upate boyfriend ama girlfriend ama kukua yani Yaani uingie kwa marriage usikuwe yani umeji waste ama life yako unasema i wish i knew mm. yeah yeah na kitu kingine pia mm. yani if you are single mom yani usikimbilie my relationship zingine kama ujalea mtoto ama nini ju unaweza kimbilia relationship then huyo jamaa mwenye umeenda ku start na yeye aone ni kau kwa dest parit sana anze kutreat kama trash mm. so that hiyo ndio tu naweza muambia mm. yeah uko na any regrets mimi mm. i for now i don't regret anything mm. ni mungu mm. yeah or regrets like you got married Apa, eh, ali eh nikianza ku regret na za rudi nyuma sana <laughs> eh but umekubali yeah, yeah nimekubali umekubali what uh, happened yeah eh how your relationship went yeah. Yeah, at least tulitoka uko alive yeah eh au kulia hiyo ndio nashukuru sana 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 because currently watu wanaoana sana in marriages yeah eh yeah. mm. and uh, at least we should thank god uli toka uko high yeah eh yo hole mm. una maalama hata kama ulikatwa na kisu but at least tunakaa umeheal yeah eh yeah. okay. na in case kuna mtu ana watch na anaweza yeah. taka probably ku eh ku reach anataka kukuongelesha eh, anataka maybe kukupatia any help eh, mm. eh. namba yangu ya simu ni 0792 mm. 478107 yeah. 0792 478707 mm. yeah. oh nice so nimeshukuru sana zenye umekuja kwa show at least you've eh, created time kutupatia your story yeah and i believe history yako hata wenye watawatch ni watu pia 
maybe watapata uh, encouragement na watalan wasikimbilie mm. kuingia into uh, relationship to get uh, kuingia to relationships when they are very young yeah uh, at least and we are wishing you all the best in future thank you uh, majua the best is yet to come you're still very young 21 years yeah bad water ujaanza sasa watu wanasemanga life starts at 40 <laughs> so <laughs> you're very far <laughs> yeah eh uh, and god i'm sure ataku bless mm. poa Guys, thank you for watching and uh, and let me ku subscribe by the way. See what is your bill subscribe. Don't get your subscribe uh, your button ya ku subscribe and uh, make sure you share this uh, shows and to put any to at least you comment to uh, what you think about the show. Poor, thank you and uh, God bless you. <laughs>